Hello, this is Factor X from Pixelsmashers.com, and today we're going to talk about upgrading your screen on the Lenovo Y460. So, the current screen on, on the Lenovo Y460 has a 1366 by 768 pixel display, and uh, this upgrade technique only works for the Y460, so don't try this if you have a Y470 or a Y470P. So we chose this screen because of the mounting requirements and the pin requirements as well. You need a 40 pin connector. So you do this at your own risk and you may possibly void your warranty. Now this doesn't work on the Y470 because it has a 30 pin data connector and the Y460 has a 40 pin data connector. So again, don't try this if you have a Y470, only if you have a Y460. So uh, before we start, let's take a look at our tools here. We have an interchangeable screwdriver. You don't really need that. You could just use a Phillips head, but you know, it's fancy. So we also have an optional magnetic pickup tool and a magnetic tray so we don't lose anything. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is shut off the laptop and take out the battery. And of course, take out the AC adapter. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is remove these pegs. So don't skip any, and you just take a screwdriver and prime off like so. It should look like that. So now you have to unscrew each of these screws underneath all the pegs. Here's what the screws look like, so you don't get confused. Now you just have to snap off the bezel. It might take a little bit of force, but uh, you know, just try not to use too much force. Uh, you don't want to accidentally break it or anything like that. So here we go, just still taking it off, and eventually we'll get it. Go around all the corners as well as on the bottom. So again, no rush. Take your time here. This is probably one of the longest steps. And eventually you'll get it. So here's what it looks like with the bezel off. Again, we have more screws on the left, on the top, and on the right side there as well. And you just have to unscrew each of those to get the screen out of the laptop. So after you unscrew it, it'll look like that. And you have to pull out the power cable on the top very carefully. And eventually you'll get it. Here's what it looks like. Okay, so after you remove the power cable, you need to remove the data cable. Here's what it looks like. You may have to peel off some of the tape before you remove it. And again, be very careful with this part. You want to not pull from the cable portion. You want to pull from the you want to pull from the gold connector portion of it so so you don't damage any of the connections. So once you get the new screen, you just connect it the same exact way. And you can also remove the tape right here. I'll show you now on each side. Because there's a thin covering when you first get your new screen that you don't want to keep in there when you mount the laptop. Okay, so again, connect the power cable. And make sure the tape is reapplied as well as the data cable. Then you just snap it back into place. And re-screw everything in. So once you get everything screwed in, you want to just do a basic test to make sure everything works. So quickly power it on, get into your desktop, and make sure everything is running as it should. Again, it's, this is a new screen with a higher resolution. That's the whole reason we replaced it. So you should see 1600 times 900 instead of 1366 by 768. All right, so once we confirmed that the new resolution has been applied and this is the, and the screen is working, shut down your laptop and continue reassembling it. 
Again, we take our bezel and snap it back on. We used these screws, so don't get confused. And also, we those are the pegs you have to place over the screws if you want. Again, there's where you need to screw back in, and that's also where you need to reapply the pegs. And if they don't stick, uh, again, you may, could try to apply some more adhesive to it. Uh, don't go too crazy, though. You want to make sure you can get back into the laptop if anything goes wrong. So, again, put back the battery inside the laptop. And also the AC adapter. And once you're in Windows, hey, look, 1600 times 900. So we've successfully upgraded our screen in the Lenovo Y460. So the viewing angle on this laptop is more or less the same as before, but again, the main reason you want to do this is for the higher resolution display. It gives you more screen real estate for photo editing and multitasking. Again, don't forget to read the description for the exact screen model we used in this video, and don't forget to visit our website at pixelsmashers.com. Thanks for watching.